Hey again guys. All right, so this is going to be a quick video just to kind of give you a heads up on how to use this new awesome freebie. So I'm gonna be using my iPad Pro 11. This does work on my mini as well. It should work on any that will support Procreate. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So when you go to the website and you download this file, it is a Procreate file. So what you need to do is you need to get it onto your tablet. Um, you can do that by uploading it to the drive. You can download it from Google Drive um, directly on your tablet. So go to the website, follow the link, download it directly here. Procreate's gonna know what to do with it. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I download it directly to my tablet. Um, now I'm gonna go to my drive because as of obviously this second, <laughs> I don't have this on my website yet, but it's up there for you guys now. So I'm gonna go to drive.google.com. You'll just go to the link on the website. And then I'm gonna come down here. What did I even call this? Oh, here we go. All right, so it's ldplannerribbon.procreate. So I'm gonna double tap it here. And this is what yours, why am I doing this? You can see it. This is what yours should look like. So don't tap any of this stuff that's on the screen. You're just gonna tap this little down arrow thing here. It's gonna scan it. Do you want to download this? Download. And then it's gonna come, I'm gonna turn this around just so you guys can see, here, right next to your address bar. So you're gonna tap that thing and then the file will be there. So you're gonna tap the file and it's automatically going to send it into Procreate. So you don't have to go to Procreate. You don't have to say open in, it'll go right there. Procreate knows what to do with it. So when you get it, it's gonna look like this. Now it looks black on the bottom. If you hit your layers, you've got background color, which is off because you want this to be a transparent PNG. You've got your shadow layer, you've got your ribbon layer, drop color here and a detail layer. The detail layer is simply the stitching on the top. You can turn that off or leave it on depending on what you're trying to make. But the quickest and easiest is what we'll show you first. So if you go to your color thing here, go to your palette, say you want this pink, then you're gonna go to where it says drop color here, turn that on, touch that overlay, grab your color and drop. Done. There's your first ribbon. Congratulations, you did it. But let's say you wanna do something a little fancier. Okay, so we're just gonna undo. You don't have to undo it, that's fine. But I'm gonna stay on this layer here and I'm gonna select like my glitter brush, for example. And I'll keep this pink here too. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just paint right on top of that layer. Super easy, same thing go ahead and upload it. Now, the reason that this is working is because this layer that says drop color here is set at clipping mask. What that means is whatever you draw, whatever you sketch, whatever you paint is only going to affect the layer below it, directly below it. It's not affecting this shadow layer, it's only affecting the layer called ribbon, which is awesome because you can't screw it up, right? So. Let's say, all right, Jenna, this is cool. This is okay. I want to paste an image here. We can do that too. So let's go ahead and go to the gallery. I'll pull in this scary ass snowman that I made. So I'm just gonna go here to the image. I'm gonna hit copy. I'm gonna go back here. You can do this with a texture or with like a seamless pattern or whatever. I'm just doing this because it's on my tablet. So we're gonna go here to this layer and we're gonna turn this off because we don't want that anymore. Now I'm gonna tap this ribbon layer and then I'm gonna take three fingers, pull down and hit paste. Now you can see <laughs> it made a tiny ass little snowman, but you can skew, you can stretch, you can do whatever but I'm kind of not mad about it. So I'm just gonna paste them again. And I'm gonna paste them again. All right, so you can see that it's still clipped to that layer beneath it. So I could turn, or excuse me, I could pick this guy up and put him on top 
and then turn the pink on behind it and it would still be the snowman. It's not as fun that way. So I'm not going to do it that way. See, and I can turn off this detail layer and then he's just creepy. And then that, oops. And then that's it. So you can go up here and share and you always want to save it as a PNG. And it's just going to, I'll save it here to my tablet. Yeah. Have fun. Go nuts. I used to make these um, and give them away as freebies. I mean, I probably still will because hello, fun. But this, um, this method of doing it with Procreate, because I was doing it in Photoshop before, but I'm slowly transitioning all of my artwork into Procreate just because I'm getting kind of pissed off at Photoshop. I've tried Photoshop for the iPad and while it's fantastic as always for photo editing, which is what I do daily, it sucks for this type of imagery because it's not yet capable of doing things like smart objects or scripts or any of that. So I'm slowly transitioning everything to Procreate. Now, if I'm working on a spread and I'm like, crap, I need a Robin's egg blue ribbon. I don't have one. Oh snap, I can make one in three seconds. So enjoy it, you guys. Go nuts, tag me. I wanna see what you make. Make some fun ones and I just might have to ask you if I could borrow them. Um, so yeah, and I wanna say a special thank you to my PR team, Shauna, Mandy, B, Helen, Miriam, and Mimi. Thank you guys for testing this file for me. I wasn't 100% sure that sending something as a dot procreate file would work outside of my own um, environment here, but it does work. So now I know you guys can download this file and just go nuts, have a ball. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.